Welcome, everyone, to the Tether Shipyards. I am Takeshi Yamato, the Yardmaster, joining our host, the Houseco Gamer. Yo. For our next inter for our next hero ship, we're doing another salvaged interstellar concordium ship. This one, a carrier type named Mother Vanguard. As, as of 2371, it was it was operated by a group known only as the Crossbone Vanguard. Supposedly like, supposedly a pirate organization, though there were rumors that they were that they were beholden to one of the uh, to one of the other powers, primarily Starfleet because most of the crew was human and other Federation member races. And it only preyed on Cardassians, Romulans, and other pirate organizations. They did not prey on any Klingon or Federation targets. At least anything legitimate. Yeah. As an example here, watch a bunch of older Klingon ships get their, uh... Get the crap beat by their fighters. Indeed. It is likely that this vessel also served in service to the Maquis because, well, do those hangar bays not scream mobile starbase? Yeah, indeed. <laughs> they, they, they probably did work with the Maquis a few times, especially against the Cardassians. For good reason, these people work with the highest bidder. Indeed, though again, there are some rumors out there that the Mother Vanguard was technically a Starfleet intelligence vessel, or, or beholden to Starfleet in some way. Intelligence makes the most sense. Section 31, a close second, if you know of them. If they even exist. Yes. Because there are rumors of a certain deep organization named Section 31. God damn it, Bashir. Yeah. But considering how overworked and overstressed the man was, it's hard to believe the Federation with its ideals would have something so insidious within them. Indeed. And now that we're done bashing Bashir's naivete, let us get to statting this thing. So, first up, systems. Ca ba basic stat block for the ISC carrier type is comms 10, computers 8, engines 7, sensors 9, structure 9, weapons 7. From 2387 to 23, uh, 2287 to 2371 is 84 years, so we have eight refit points to put into this thing for technological advancements the crew has managed to put into it. I'm thinking, com well, I'm thinking at least one point into comms and computers, so com comms 11, computers 9. Engine's probably two points to get those up to nine. She needs the extra speed and power. More more power is always necessary to deal with modern threats. Even the Cardassians would be able to deal with the freaking interstellar concordium at this point. Yep. Probably upgrade the weapons just so it can defend itself a little better, so weapons eight. So let's see, what comms will it? One point in comms, one point in computers, two points in engines, one point in weapons. That's five points. We got three points left. We could put an extra point each in comms, computers, and weapons. Or we could also add a point to sensors and or structure. That's up to you. I'm only here to provide the boat. Right. Um, let's put comms at 12... Computers at 10, and structure at 10. And 
Now we get to departments and mission profile. The department modifiers for the vet ISC carrier type are com one point in command and two points in engineering. Now, normally, normally this would work for a strategic and diplomatic operations vessel or possibly a flagship. Though, I am also considering espionage intelligence. Considering this vessel is beholden to the Federation in some manner. Yeah, we'll do espionage. This thing is basically a deniable asset. So, Command 2, Con 2, Security 3, Engineering 1, Science 3, Medicine 2. Add the modifiers from the inter from the space frame, and the Mother Vanguard has Command Three, Con Two, Security Three, Engineering Three, Science Three, Medicine One. A very well-rounded ship. Well-rounded, but obsolescent. Yeah. That is not quite the same as obsolete. It just means aged. Yeah. And talent-wise, the space frame comes with advanced shields, two instances of extensive shuttle bays, and secondary reactors, with room for two more, including the profile talent. The profile talent options are electronic warfare systems, high resolution con sensors, improved reaction control system, and slim sensor silhouette. Considering the size of this thing. Yeah, probably slim sensor silhouette isn't an option. I mean, it's like trying to wrap composite materials around a freaking B-52. That's not happening. Yeah. I would say... I would say our remaining two talents will be electronic warfare systems and high risk sensors. Indeed. Plasma torpedo. High resolution bonk, bonk. sensors. And yes, weapon wise, it has disruptor banks, disruptor cannons, plasma torpedoes with the hyper hyper-focused special rule and a strength 5 tractor beam and it also has the subspace jump drive additional propulsion system meaning this thing can just teleport somewhere as demonstrated here Foop. up <laughs> for derived stats resistance is equal to scale so resistance 6 Power is engines plus secondary reactors. 9 plus 5 is 14. Shields, structure plus security plus advanced shields. 10 plus 3 plus 5, 18 shields. And that is the Mother Vanguard. A nasty oh. little boat. Oh, uh, descriptor traits. Former inter salvaged. Interstellar Concordium Starship Independent Starship Pirates in quotation marks. Pirates with plasma torpedoes. Yup. Kind of like the Garden and of Eden with landmines. Yep. And yeah. so, the Mother Vanguard. Very nasty little boat. But then again, she was built by a bunch of nasty people. Yep. And then take and then taken and repurposed into equally nasty purpose, but potentially noble goals. Potentially. Bye-bye.